Did you know that John Hayes Hammond Jr. designed and installed one of the largest pipe organs in the world in Hammond Castle Museum? As early as 1916, Hammond began designing his famous pipe organ, a full decade before he even broke ground on Hammond Castle Museum. His original intention was to build the organ inside a castle built on his family's estate about a mile or so northeast of his eventual home, but complications due to his marriage prevented the structure from being finished. When he began planning what would become Hammond Castle Museum, the inventor knew he had to accommodate his organ design, which was to consist of many thousands of pipes of all manner of sizes. Hammond made friends with many of the greatest organ makers of his time and convinced them to personally make stops of pipes for his organ. Six galleries were built inside the structure to contain these stops, with the pedal division visible from inside the Great Hall. Galleries located in the castle towers were under expression, with large wooden louvers to control the volume of the organ. Pipes range in size from as small as a straw to over 20 feet long. It was an electro-pneumatic design, meaning that the organ's pipes were able to be located at great distance from the console where the organist would play. First positioned in front of the alcove in the Great Hall where the Burmese Buddhist manuscript chest sits today, and later in the balcony over the bishop's alcove, which had a mirror mounted above so that guests below could see how they played the keyboard. The current console was added in the 1980s when the electronics in the organ were converted to a solid state design. Many concerts were given using this organ by world-class musicians. In addition, Hammond made sure to build the Great Hall like a recording studio so that records could be made using the instrument. While the organ was made to Hammond's specifications and used patents that he filed, it should be noted that he did not in fact found the Hammond Electric Organ Company, as is sometimes believed. That was another Hammond by the name of Lawrence. The two were contemporaries, however, and many people asked if Lawrence Hammond was related to Jack Hammond. Because of their similar careers, Two prolific inventors named Hammond, Lorenz held about a quarter of the number of patents that Jack held, both working in organs. They also got confused for each other and received each other's mail on occasion. Sometimes Jack would playfully write back to people looking for Lorenz and pose as the latter for a joke. He also wrote to Lorenz directly, stating, It seems that I have written to fame at the desk of your organ. I hope that my torpedoes have been also friendly to you. This seemed to confuse the other Hammond. We hope you enjoyed this video, but there is a lot more to explore about John Hayes Hammond Jr., his inventions, and his collection of art and artifacts. We invite you to visit us at Hammond Castle Museum in Gloucester, Massachusetts to learn more.